After adding 350 milliliters of copper 4000 B, we will add 128 milliliters of formaldehyde. Now for the last titration step, we need a 5 milliliter bath to start. Now we need 50 milliliter of deionized water. And then we have to add one tablet of Mirexide. That is kept in this cabinet in this small jar. It's purple. Just drop it in. And as you can see, it starts mixing well. You can turn the stir on high and try to mix it quicker. So now we add the 50 milliliters of ethanol since the tablet has dissolved. Now we have to titrate until uh, it's green with copper sulfate. When you pour the copper sulfate into here, you want to make sure you get up oh, as close to the line that says zero as possible because we're going to use almost all 50 milliliters of it. It's okay to get a little extra because you can just dump it out right back into there. And we have 0 0.2. So we go down, and we type 0 0.2 into our starting volume. And then we titrate until we get a green color. And as you can see, the color keeps changing. The should start changing very soon. There it goes. And we have green. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Our ending volume is 47.6.4. Sorry. So you go down, type in 47.4. And our result is 0 0.126. And our, we have to add zero milliliters of copper 4000 M. So all chemicals can be disposed in this hole right here. Once you're done titrating, remember to, remember to put back the chemicals in the original container. So, you want to get plenty of uh, wire so you can hang the circuit boards in the different bats. So, we take the wire, we get a circuit board, we put it through the holes, and then we take our PVC pipe that has the slits cut in it, and we wrap the wire around top of it and then tie the other end of wire to it and then you have it perfectly hanging circuit board. Now we go over and you want to clean off this because it's been heated and stuff's tried to evaporate. Then you take it off, set it to the side, place you board it in the via that 
You want to wash it around a little to make sure all the holes get filled with it. And then we come over here to the timer, set, set it for five minutes, and click start. So you want your board to soak in the feed depth for five minutes. Then you'll take it out and dunk it in DI water for about a minute. Then you'll soak it in the CU prep for another minute. After you take it out of the CU prep, you'll rinse it off real quick in this DI water and then soak it in this DI water for another minute. Then you'll do the catalyst for five minutes, rinsing it off in this DI water and soaking it for a minute in this DI water. And lastly, in the electroless plating bath, you'll soak it in there for 30 minutes. And then dunk it in this water and soak it in this water for another minute. Then your board is done with electroless plating. To set it up for the electro plating, you want to go to this Excel worksheet, Plating Power Supply Settings Calculation Sheet. In here, I've already entered in the square feet area of the board. Now you want to make sure you calculate this for both sides of the board. And if you have a thick board, you want to make sure to calculate for the outside edge of the board and the area of any vias you have. Also, we're doing just one board and we set it for 600 micro inches thickness of copper and we're doing 10 ASF which is the copper plating current density of the board. It, uh, that's how much current is going to go through it so the, the lower the number is the longer it's going to take. We do a 50% duty cycle and it's, it says it's going to take 130 minutes and we have, but the numbers we want to see are the 1.3295 amps and the ATC, the amp minutes in, for the board, which is 87.02. So now, what you're going to want to do is you want to clip the board with the alligator clips. And then you take it over to here. Now you're going to want to make sure that you plug in the pump for this so that you get some circulation going. Also, to help, you're going to attach these clamps to it, sliding them on and pushing them up to the, the board. This helps to make a good connection with the rod. Then you come over to this guy, you flip it on. You're going to want to set the amps. So you go over here to set V and I, and you will go down and you start to lower the current to the 1.3. There we go. Hit enter and escape. Then we're going to set the ATC. So we're going to lower this all the way down to 87. It's very sensitive. Hit enter, escape, and then you hit, this is the standby button, it's on. We want to hit operate, and then you'll see the amps start to go up in the voltage, and it tells you how many amp minutes are remaining. And then your board is currently being plated. So now our boards are done being plated. After you safely turn off the machine, you can remove the clamps. Then, you set it to the side, you want to make sure that you fill the beaker with water. 
Once you have the felt beaker, you can go over and remove your boards from the etching pad. Then you will undo the alligator clips and soak the boards in the water. And then just rinse off the, the bottom of the clips real quick. And then you're done.